Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Now, how is Agent Blaskowitz? A little beat up, sir, but nothing too serious. They've just finished with him in debriefing. Well, he certainly came through for us this time. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Advanced weapons, biological engineering, robotics, and the occult. It all fits. Into what, exactly? I'm not sure, but it all fits. I was thinking along those same lines, sir. Jack, call a meeting. Yes, sir. Uh, what have you got there, Jack? Two Dakota dispatches just in from Ultra. The first one is a complete itinerary for Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler, covering the next 48 hours. <whistles> now wait till you see the next one. A private communique from one Wilhelm Strasse, alias Deshead, to the same Reichsfuhrer SS, dated yesterday. Shall I read it? Please. My dear Reichsfuhrer SS, as you are no doubt already aware, my X-Labs lie in complete ruin. Operation Uber sold that. My life's work is now a bitter memory. I realize you still have faith in the ultimate success of Operation Resurrection. I wish I could share your confidence. But I feel you have been misled by individuals whose mental competence must be called into question. I leave you now with a word of caution. The Allies have sent a most determined and capable agent to disrupt your ceremony. Do not make the mistake of underestimating him as I did. Yours faithfully, SS Oberfuhrer Wilhelm Strasse. Comments, gentlemen? Sir, may I speak freely? By all means. I have to confess, I'm having a hard time taking this seriously. I mean, are we really supposed to believe that all this has transpired so the Nazis can, well, I don't know, some of the spirit of a thousand-year-old prince? To do what? Win the war for them? Now, wait just a minute. Please, Jack, let me finish. Now, on top of that, we have what amounts to their own top scientists telling them they've all collectively blown a head gasket. What further evidence do we need? Sir, it just occurred to me that we may be looking at this the wrong way. I mean, well, if these blokes are really intent upon squandering precious time and resources on all this uh, mystic mumbo-jumbo, oh, well, then... Go on. What I mean to say is, if they're dead set upon sabotaging their own war effort, why should we try to stop them? Jack, I'm sure you have something to add. Yes, sir, I do. Gentlemen, if just two weeks ago someone had mentioned legions of undead, man-made monsters and demons from hell, would any of you have taken them seriously? Of course not, and neither would I. But think of all we've learned since then. Now you're saying we should ignore the rest of it because why? It's, it's too incredible? I'm not saying I believe it. I'm saying we can't afford to dismiss it. Once again, it's your call, sir. It's settled then. Laskovitz returns to Castle Wolfenstein. We we get to go back. I like going back to Wolfenstein. One could say we're returning to Castle Wolfenstein. Roll credits, please. Oh, who's that? Marine Marine Mariana? Mariana Bla Blavatsky. It's not very German sounding there. Oh, it's Russian. Another very large plane flying very low. Condition good. Oh, the damn! I remember this level. Ah, oh, this has taken a very large amount of memory to remember. I just know that it exists. What do you mean, closed? It can't be closed. This is the only road into Paderborn. I know, that's why it's closed. <laughs> Due to special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no traffic is to be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours, by order of General von Stauff. But this delivery is for General von Stauff. It's six cases of cheese and sausages for the officer's kitchen. Get him on the phone now. I'm sure he'll make an exception. Sorry, we are completely blacked out. What? 
special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no radio communications will be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours by order... <coughs> yeah, yeah, I know, by order of General Von Stuff. Look, I'm not going to be held responsible for this. I absolutely refuse to budge from this spot until you let me through. <laughs> Suit yourself, but you'll be staying here until tomorrow. <laughs> but what am I supposed to do with all this cheese? I don't know, look for some crackers? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. How did they not see me? Uh, so we got Stan Thompson. Ooh, a snooper I felt. Uh, fuck, why do they keep giving me the fucking M1? The why they would cut communication. What do you call it? Um, radio comms? I'm not too sure. Can I make that jump? Oh, here we go. Oh. Run! Oh. No! <laughs> that is a very solid no go. Now is there someone up here? Oh! <gasps> Tesla gun! Oh, I got the shotgun as well. And the Thompson. Oh, Zed. What is right click? It's not right click, it's Zed. That's a person over there that I can take out. Have a nap, lad. See if I can just leave him alive. You of course want to be doing this in stealth because, I mean, always want to be doing stuff in stealth. The option is presented to you. That was close. What is that? Chris Bollister. Thank you. Oh, that's a person. Eventually, I'll get to the snoop rifle that was, yeah, two away. Is that a person? What is a person? Hi. Where did he go? <laughs> it's not turning the alarm on. Oh, watch personnel from Schaffenstil HQ. To the special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no traffic is allowed in or out of the vicinity of Village Paterborn for the next 24 hours by order General Von Stella. Secret area. Can't go that way. I can't run up there, damn it. Bitch. God damn that fucking paratrooper gun. I I'm I swear that the mod that lets us play, the real RTCW, the mod that lets you play at um 1080p, I swear it is up the the recoil that you take. By like a substantial amount. Because I don't like, granted, it's been a while since I played, but I don't remember it taking that much. You take that much of a hit when you take a hit. That makes sense. for a second. Cut. Think. Just 
stay down, man. Do I think there's an alarm box up here? I do. Shh. Okay. <laughs> I think I broke that switch a bit. What's going on down there? Me. Oh, fucking piece of shit, unrealistic game. See, why the fuck would I ever want to pull out a Luger at this point? Uh, no radio communications. Uh, this sounds like a radio communication guide. There's a middle of an allied assault that had you going through vents as well. And you dropped out on to some other stuff. Onto like a set of bookshelves. Fuck me, or filing cabinets, whatever they were. What the fuck are you shooting with? MP40, damn. That fire rate was not MP40 ish to me. Ow. Flat jacket, which is good for me. Yeah, come. Ah, oh, there's two more here. Here we go. Always good to check. Did I come in there? No, I came through there. What's in here then? This is just back outside. Yeah. What did that journal say? Get across Sedan and locate the road. Uh, mission the X-Lab had effect on the drug and death head into hiding. This time with the robots are unknown. However, it is known that he is only supporting a character in Hitler's ultimate goal to resurrect Heinrich I. It appears that three of death head super soldiers will be anointed by Mariana Lavatsky in a ceremony to be held near Chateau Shostavel. Shostavel? Shustavel, I guess, in the village of Patterburn. They will be brought to the grave of Heinrich III, located near Castle Wolfenstein, for the resurrection. Many of the OSA remain skeptical of the ceremony. Recent events have shown that nothing can be ruled out. Infiltrate and destroy. Let me just load all those four bullets, three bullets, shells, whatever. Shotgun's pretty good. Oh, oh no. Maybe not at that range, though. Ah, oh, God, no, 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 no. You little bitch. Look, come hiding away under there. I'm gonna guess this is a road to Bedavan. Much nighty. Nobody outside. Hot meal. I'm gonna go. Can I go back for that hot meal? Yes, I can, because I can just walk back through the way I can. Back in a second. And I was thinking, how far in advance, like, to someone living in World War Two, 
do you reckon this new growth would be? Because technically speaking, infrared uh, sniper rifles did work, though they were put on M1 carbines, carbines. And this thing underneath, down where his hand is, the red light—that's an infrared torch or a lamp, and that shoots the infrared light out. Whereas the thing on the top is obviously an infrared scope. Though they would only do like 50 yards, and that's about about 50 meters or so, give or take. They're pretty comparable. So I'm curious to how, like distance-wise, this is. Is it in here? Yes. Wow, that was really short, and it still took about 20 minutes total. Okay. Hmm. If I remember correctly, you have to do the stealth, like completely stealth. Though so again, might be a completely different game. I want to say it has to be done stealth. Eliminate all the mages. Uh, okay, I don't think it has to be done stealthily. Hey, oh, no. I can't see you. No. Hi. No, oh, I'll come in there a secret. You get to live. Though, yeah, I would not go next door, okay? Can I break you? Yes! Same about that themed odd. Who are you? Ooh, wine. Uh, N, you were a person. Ah, Major, what's his face? Grab them. Run, run, run. I need a snoop rifle, which is on five, not six. No, it's on four. What are you doing? See the the problem you're mixing too much basil in, man. Too much basil in there. You need like maybe two teaspoons. Uh, doctor, I'm positively at my wits end. The charm has worn off sooner than you promised. I don't know what to do. How can I go in daylight looking like this? Please call me a Ooh. some sort of magic. Uh, I guess I'll leave it here, because I mean. It a good place to leave it and I will see you all next time I hope you have a nice morning a nice evening and a nice afternoon and to everyone